Hey there, I'm Ina Speak Simply Malekish. This is my channel, and I enjoy sharing with you about sex, relationship, intimacy, and spirituality one bite at a time. And today I'm going to be sharing with you about the holiday lights and that they shine to bring hope into our lives. Thanksgiving and Christmas seem to just blur together. I know that I used to wait before I put up any of my lights. Now, after Thanksgiving Thursday, I relax on Friday and I start enjoying the weekend by bringing out all of my decorations, putting them up in the house. I, I turn my house into uh, uh, little different places of scenes and little cities and, and uh, elves and fairies and Santa Clauses and angels and putting lights up outside. And I want to share with you that I was raised in a family that were not conservative but uh, Jewish and so we honored the high holiday services and my, my father would, would sing the different Hebrew songs and would light the menorah. And uh, it was absolutely beautiful. And then we also celebrated Christmas. Of course, we had to call it a Hanukkah bush because my grandfather was just so offended um, because he was definitely more Orthodox Jew Jewish. And the first year we had a Christmas tree, it was decorated with all blue and white. Then my family, because they loved celebrating, no matter what the holiday was, it did not matter if it was Easter or if, if it was a high holiday service, we would celebrate everything with the understanding that we were celebrating life. We were celebrating uh, the light that comes into the darkness, that opens our heart and our soul, and that allows us to connect to a power that's greater than ourselves. So whatever your family traditions are, add your own traditions to it. And I enjoy putting my lights up outside. Sometimes I leave them on the fence, I just have to plug them in. The, until grandfather son begins to heat the day up and the sun brings light earlier in the evening until it's ridiculous to have any kind of Christmas tree lights on. But I do enjoy coming home late at night, especially when it's winter and it's the darkest part of the winter and our front yard is lit up with beautiful lights. And inside my home, I enjoy having the little twinkle lights. I don't bring a Christmas tree because my son and my grandchildren don't live close, so they don't visit. But those little things that have meaning, like the ornaments that we would hang on the tree that you made when your adult children who now have children, but you made them when they were this big. So I invite you to keep the heart and the spirit be it Hanukkah or Christmas, it is bringing light into the world when it's in the darkest time. And this is, uh, is symbolic. This is not just the physical light, but this is the symbolic of reconnecting to a power greater than yourself, a source higher than yourself, that yes, we've been given free will, and for us to think, and I have found over these last, oh, starting in March, uh, when COVID was hitting and when I had my spine surgery, that the more I pray, the more I stay connected to a higher power, the easier my life became. And I started listening when I said, I don't know what to say or I don't know how to do this. And I thought being a therapist, I, you know, I am very skilled in communication. And when I finally admitted I don't know, and I was quiet, it inevitably just the right sentence came into my head, the right timing for sharing it. Don't believe anything I'm saying. Try it out as an experiment. If you don't have a strong connection to a higher power, be it mother, father, nature, or if it's talking to the stars, 
or if it's sitting in church. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you know that there is something that flows through everything in this universe. And that's part of what the holiday season is about. It's about letting your inner child, that little boy, that little girl, absolutely rejoice in this festive time of year. So I'm always asking, what does my little girl like to do? Well, when I go someplace, she likes to drive up and down the streets and look at all the lights. And where we live, we have some amazing, wonderful homes, whole blocks, where they really have gotten into it. And there's these beautiful, beautiful lights. Sometimes my little girl used to like to go into the malls and go into the toy store. Now, as an adult woman, there's other things that I might want to be doing. But if I ignore the child within me and I don't let her play and enjoy this, I become grumpy. And there are times I want to go and play in the snow, which means driving up to Flagstaff, you know, or, or heading anywhere you know, here in Phoenix where there may be snow. I mean, you know, Arizona where there's snow. It's important that we honor the child within us and we let ourselves play and rejoice as well as the adult of who we are. And I mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. Christmas and Hanukkah are not about spending lots of money from the stores. It's not about Black Friday, getting up there. It might be a fun thing for you to do, and if you enjoy doing that, great. This year might be different. You may want to reinvent what this holiday season is going to be for you. If you want it to be more quiet, if there, you want there to be more intimacy, if you want there to be actual talking of the love that you feel in your heart for each other, and to create, um, if you don't buy a tree or if you don't, if you don't have what you need for your celebration, Create something. It doesn't matter what it is. That's the beauty of it. One of the things that um, I remember back in high school uh, reading Viktor Frankl, and he wrote A Man's Search for Meaning, and I'm sure many of you have read that, and he survived in Nazi concentration camp, and I'm paraphrasing now. He said the only thing that we have control over is ourselves, our attitude, our approach, no matter what is going on around us, and a lot's going on around us, no matter what it is, our behavior toward that event, toward life, toward others, is the only thing that we actually have control over, is myself. So my attitude and my approach to how I'm going to deal with whatever stress may be coming up, whatever busyness, and I can simplify, simplify. And I can choose to create something new, maybe start a new tradition. It's not what is happening in your life or in the world or in the United States. It's not what's happening that matters. It's how you deal with it. That is what is important. And here's another thought that comes from uh, Native American teachings, in that we are spirit living in a physical form. We are not the physical form. We are a spiritual being having a physical experience. So if you think of yourself more as a spirit having a physical experience, maybe you can relax and allow your spiritual self to have more voice in the decisions that you make. This is a wonderful time of year. The veil is thin. We feel a connection every single year, no matter what has been going on. It just feels like there's more kindness in the world. There's more acceptance for our differences. There is more love. And I appreciate that. And I do believe that there's an energy that happens. And when all the lights go up in the city or in the suburbs or in the country, seeing those colored lights, it brings hope. It brings a sense of oneness. Even with so much division that we've had in our country, please, at this time, let that go. Everything will be, be resolved if it hasn't already been, because I'm filming a little ahead of time. Everything will be resolved by the end of January. 
let yourself truly be blessed this time of year with self-love and sharing with others. And remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to have a lot of presents. You don't have to have any presents that you bought in a store. What you really desire is to be given and to be to and to give. So from inside yourself, if you can give of your heart, give of your patience, be more kind, be more caring, that will come back to you a hundredfold. And that's what this season is about. May every winter day between now and when we actually celebrate whichever holiday you'll be celebrating, I pray for you to, and I send for you that you may have peace of mind, serenity of soul, and joy in your heart. And I appreciate if you would share this video with others, if you would leave comments, because it's through your sharing that I am then made available to help others with my, with my guidance, with my knowledge as a marriage relationship and sex counselor. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and blessings.